Hello people, in this video let us look at the differential diagnosis for uh, pyogenic osteomyelitis. It can be any joint issue. It could be arthritis like acute septic arthritis or acute rheumatic arthritis. Okay, It could be scurvy. In scurvy also you have the uh, subperiosteal conditions that is hematoma can be there, subperiosteal. It could be polio, but um, in polio what is actually affected are the muscles, right? The bone uh, is totally fine though. But anyways, they have given this as a differential diagnosis for pyogenic osteomyelitis, okay? The acute one. So that's why they have written here, acute, acute, acute poliomyelitis. So for the acute pyogenic uh, osteomyelitis, this is the DD. What about chronic then? The chronic osteomyelitis, it can be tubercular, you should check if it is tubercular caused by tuberculosis or if there is some soft tissue infection or if it is Ewing sarcoma. Here they are showing you Ewing sarcoma of the fibula, it is affecting the diaphysis, right? So this is a very aggressive tumor and it's a very horrible tumor. It affects like 5 year old children also. So in this video you have looked at the differential diagnosis of osteomyelitis, okay?